Good morning, you guys. My face is still puffy from waking up. I've definitely entered the stage of pregnancy where I wake up and my face is puffy and it's like, oh, how did I get here so quickly? I need to find my ice roller and roll this face down. This morning, we were greeted with a lovely power outage, which I was like, oh no, I heard Trip's sound machine go off and I was like, what just happened and yeah there's a power outage for like 30 minutes and i was kind of freaking out because it's close to when they're supposed to wake up came out here i texted my friends my neighbors and they're like yeah it's out it's out like everywhere i'm like oh no i'm like already thinking we're gonna have to go to starbucks this morning which wouldn't have been bad because we already don't have that many <laughs> groceries and i was doing a grocery pickup this morning anyway after I dropped Reagan off at school but I was like how am I gonna take her to school if I can't even like get breakfast going and whatever anyway long story short which isn't even really a long story I'm just kind of rambling it is now 7 20 and the power did come back on and I quickly rushed to make breakfast with what we have left um just in case it goes back out again. And Tripp is already eating. She is still sleeping, which is really nice. And I don't know why my camera is like not, not doing well. I just adjusted some setting on my camera, so hopefully it's more normal now and not so like weird, slow and grainy. But yeah, waiting for her to wake up. We didn't have any milk for Trip this morning, so that's also why I was freaking out because if I couldn't get eggs and a waffle together, he was gonna be crying for milk that we didn't have. So I'm happy the power came back on. He was awake, but I took Reagan's portable sound machine and put it in front of his door to try to distract him. And he chilled in there for a little bit. But yeah, happy, happy Wednesday to us. I wasn't gonna turn on a show this morning. Yeah, Paw Patrol. I really wasn't planning on turning on a show this morning, especially since Reagan is still asleep. I would normally just play with Trip, but the power outage really just got things turned around. And you're happy you get to watch your show and not like Pinkalicious or something, right? Yeah. The plan today is Reagan has preschool and then I have a Walmart pickup order because we were so out of groceries and I need to clean our fridge. It's kind of gross in there and I feel like this is a good time to clean it out. And I did so many things yesterday. We were, I was so behind on laundry, and washing our sheets. I probably should have been a good vlogger, content creator and vlogged that but it was to the point where it was just like i just have to do it i can't wait any longer i can't like worry about the camera and the angles and all the things i just have to get it done you go into like power clean mode so that's where i was at yesterday today it's a little more manageable and i still have a few things to fold but these are my mother's day flowers so pretty these are for mother's day slash my birthday from banner and then these were for my friend for my birthday slash mother's day um they actually fell on the same year same day this year that hasn't happened in my adult life in a really like or at least since i've been a mom which is only three years but i really can't remember that happening but i might just have a really bad memory so if any of you are born on may 14th when was the last time your birthday fell on Mother's Day? I don't really remember. And it probably didn't matter to me because I wasn't a mother back then anyway. But I am 23 weeks today, which is really wild, but I'm starting to feel the pregnancy aches and pains. Like I mentioned, my face is puffy in the morning. My pelvic pressure is increasing. Like depending on how I sit or I lay in bed, I'm currently every night turning on my heating pad to fall asleep and help like relax my muscles. And I constantly am thinking like, oh my gosh, I am such an old lady, but this is the key to happiness is a heating pad. Even when I'm not pregnant, it feels so good. But I am definitely feeling more pregnant these days and he is so much lower than I feel like Reagan and Trip were. So I will show you the little bump update in a little bit once we head out for all the preschool, all the groceries, all the things. Here is my 
outfit of the day, outfit of the morning. You would think I would clean this mirror, but it always just escapes my mind. And Trip comes and bangs on it. And it's a whole thing. But this is my little outfit. Exercise dress from Amazon that's definitely getting too short. So I have this pink little linen cover up on top. And I'm just going to throw some sandals on. And this is said child. This is what he does. And you're going to break it. Let's not. And this is Trip's outfit of the day. Fake little baby Burks. Zara. This is Reagan's tutu. Beautiful. We have accomplished preschool drop off. We were definitely running late and it was definitely a crazy thing. And Trip is crying because he thinks he's a big kid and he wants to drive the car and he wants to walk everywhere on his own. But then he also doesn't listen. But, oh. I'm obsessed with this song, The Fast Cars, rendition by Luke Combs. Love the original, but I also love this one. It's like on repeat on my drives to school in the morning, but I'm so hungry. I didn't eat this morning. I ate like their leftovers because literally we were out of all food and I put way too much of my glow screen on, so I'm extra glow, not glow screen, glotion. If I'm extra glowy today, that is why. It's been a long time since I set my eyes on you. You've been running my mind since you left for Timbuktu. And I've been pacing the floor. Door, the clock, it ticks. The middle hand is sore with no hands to hold and broken. Yeah. Time dips as we soak it. Yeah. yeah. The grocery haul? Yeah. Yeah, let's do a grocery haul. I just saw that there's some substitutions, but that's okay. We'll, we'll manage. All right, please ignore the blinking clock because I've not had a chance to change our time after the power went out, but I just laid out all of our groceries to show you guys. Um, here's the fruit for this week, raspberries, strawberries, grapes. I got myself some protein shakes that I really like, some tortillas, a lemon and apple cider vinegar. I've been doing this in the morning and like before sugary meals just to help my glucose spikes because I've heard well, I've listened to a podcast about like managing your glucose spikes when you eat like something with a bunch of carbs or sugary. I listened to the glucose goddess if you've ever heard of her, but apparently having anything with vinegar before your meal helps regulate your glucose. Not that I really think I need to worry about it, but I also feel like I eat a lot of sugar, so I'm like anything will help me. And then a big thing of apples, some bone broth. I just like to do this as a snack to get extra protein because I feel like I suck at getting in protein. Um, and then some more tuna for lunches, a big cucumber that I'll cut up and store. I haven't gotten the kids mac and cheese in a while, so I got two different kinds of mac and cheese. And I'm actually going to put some pumpkin in this one. I saw that hack on, oh gosh, some Instagram for toddlers um, to put pumpkin, so hopefully they won't notice, or maybe Trip will just eat it, which I have extra pumpkin from the fall. And then I got some canned green beans because I feel like these might be easier and softer to serve for Trip. And these are the best Simple Mills little sweet thin cracker cookie things. Honestly, I eat these more than the kids. But they're so good. Reagan will eat them with me if I don't get to them first. And then more Pirate's Booty, which is a staple. Peanut butter crackers are a staple. Applesauce, staple. Trip already broke into these little almond flour bars. They're super good. I know you want more. You can't have more, buddy. Is that chocolate on your finger? I know, Bubby. Hey, hey, hey. Where'd it go? What else? Do you need another snack? You want a yogurt? Do you want a yogurt? And then I got this yogurt that I'm actually gonna give him right now because he is very upset, but he likes to do these yogurts. Reagan isn't the biggest fan of the yogurt pouches, which is kind of unfortunate because these don't make a big mess. But that just got everywhere. Sorry, is it on your head? I hope not. I'll have to wipe that up. But 
two things of these yogurts because Chip really likes them. And then this was a substitution. Oh, wait. Actually, I did not mean to get this large of an apple cider vinegar, but I think it was a substitution and the only size that they had. And then this was also a substitution. I thought I was getting the individual packed, like pre-popped boxes, but I'm assuming they were out. So this is the one that you put in the microwave for a snack for the kids and also for myself. Our staple sausage, staple cauliflower pizzas, veggie, chicken nuggets, more pickles, lots of cheese, some hot dogs, cottage cheese for myself, my little unreal coconut dark chocolate bars. I've been giving Trip this milk just because the ripple, I have to only get at Target and I just, we were all out, so he's been doing it decently well with that. More bread, eggs, and then, oops. But he always needs help with when it gets down low. And why did I put a white shirt on you and give you something with chocolate in it? Because that looks great. Whoops. But back to this paint, I love this washable paint for the kids. It is so easy for like painting boxes and then you don't have to worry about it staining their clothes. And it's only five bucks from Walmart, so definitely recommend. But that is our little haul. And I think it came out to like $150. I don't know with the substitution, but that is so sad. Groceries are so expensive right now, as always, as they've been, but I'm not even buying meat for dinners. Like I'm literally just buying snacks. I am buying more like expensive snacks because I'm not buying dinner meat. So I guess that kind of balances it. But still, that is like a big difference. I really do need to get a Costco or Sam's Club because that's all we have here membership to get our meat in bulk. And then I think that would help bring down the cost and honestly buy Pirate's Booty in bulk because we go through so much and peanut butter crackers and just kids snacks. So I think I might finally take the plunge and do that. But now I need to quickly wipe down the refrigerator since it's semi empty and it needs a good, needs a good clean. You're gonna help me trip man? Yes, as you constantly are like tripping everywhere. Getting like overstimulated by all of this. I need to do this during nap time or something. Okay, you're turning off. That's just like too much noise. Just die. Thank you. 
Uh-oh, what is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what is this? Oh, that's bad. That is molded. That's disgusting. Why do I have so much mustard? That's the real question. Where did the mustard come from? Cocktails. Use the ranch. Ranch. This organization does not really make any sense. I'm pretty sure this chicken broth is so old. It just smells like chicken. Okay, that's as good as I can do for right now since my little vacuum is dead. So my fridge now looks so beautiful and organized and clean, except for obviously this side because I didn't have the vacuum. But you wanna know what the rest of my house looks like? I'll show you. The trash that's overflowing. This is all cluttered. Didn't get around to cleaning up the playroom. This is stuff that also needs to be thrown away. This can go in the pantry. Um, dishes need to go, and I need to start that. Clean up from this morning. Yeah, buddy. And laundry that needs to be put away. What is my life? But you know what I do have? is a clean refrigerator. It is 11.06 and I guess I still have 30 minutes to clean up the rest of this chaos that is my house. You wanna help me, Trip, or just make more of a mess? Okay, watch out. No, no, out of the trash, please. Out of the trash. Way too much and trash day is not until tomorrow. Gross. I can't wait for you and your brother to be old enough to take out the trash. It'll be nice to delegate chores to the children. Trash can is the next thing that needs to be deep cleaned. It is nasty. As y'all can see, I am doing the very least when it comes to cleaning this room. I'm just picking up the toys off the ground and putting the chairs on a higher place because I'm gonna bring in mommy's little helper, aka my robot vacuum, to clean the floors. And then I'm gonna move in to the dining and living room to fold the laundry and pick up all the little messes around the living room. But my favorite part of these clips is watching how Trip just follows me around like a little shadow. He just wants to be a part of anything I'm doing and try to help me, which is so cute. such a sudden burst of energy. Those are my shoes, you want me to get my shoes on? Yeah. Sudden burst of energy, do all the things, and then you're like, whoa, how did I just do all of that? Now I feel like death. Well, that is me currently. Oh, you got my other shoe? Thank you, Trip. We're getting our shoes on to go get Reagan, and I'm gonna get some little snack containers with Pirates Rudy since we haven't had it in a while. I'm sure it'll like make her very happy to get in the car and have some Pirates Booty. So I'm gonna get the snack containers and fill that up. And Trip is rubbing his eyes, so he's gonna be so tired. Does anyone remember when I was pregnant with Reagan and I was obsessed with a LaCroix and peanut butter crackers? Like, the obsession was every day. And I feel like I'm not on the La LaCroix train this time, but I'm definitely on the peanut butter crackers. I could go through all of them. I'm <laughs> Baby boy, I told you not to do that, and it's so loud. I've got, I've got the goods. Match my outfit. Does he 
Excuse me? No. No. Put them back. Put them back. Clean them up. Clean them up. Put them in there. Thank you. Like, I don't even have the energy to, like, I don't know. You know when you feel like that? Just drained of everything that's going on in your brain. Thank you for cleaning them up. Thank you. Okay, how can I get mad when he literally just cleaned them all up, even though you shouldn't do it in the first place? All right, now shut the door. Shut the door. <laughs> shut it. Thank you. You're like a Sour Patch Kid. First they're sour, then they're sweet. You wanna go? Let's go. Let's go get your sister. Right, we are home now. You can probably hear Mira, Royal Detective, in the background. They are eating lunch. Trip has not napped today, so it's probably a very short-lived lunch before he melts down. But you guys, so nostalgic today. We bought Princess SpaghettiOs like on a whim when we were at the grocery store a while ago because Reagan picked it up and I was like, oh my gosh, my childhood and I know they're so not good for you, but like in moderation, you know? So that's what I made them for lunch today. I loved SpaghettiOs so much as a kid. Like my go-to meal was SpaghettiOs and cut up hot dogs with ketchup. 10 out of 10, my favorite. And then I am gonna have some tuna, make a little tuna sandwich, tuna salad situation. And then I'm also giving them some berries as well. But yeah, that's what we're doing for lunch. They're in there eating, behaving so far. Riley's lurking to get the snacks that drop. But I'm ready to like rush through lunch and then put them down for a nap so I could just like maybe nap too. Coming at you live from my bed. Got my water, got my computer. About to turn on my heating pad on. I'm gonna sit here and possibly fall asleep, work on this video, scroll my phone, do nothing. I really feel like I should probably go to sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> But we'll see what ends up happening and it is 119. Changed clothes in sweats and an oversized shirt and I'm here for it. Yesterday I didn't get any time alone because Reagan didn't nap. She slept with me and woke up with me and went to bed with me and all the things. So this time feels so good to not have to worry about anything and rest my body because my legs and my pelvis just get so tired and feel so swollen by the end of the night. So take rest, prioritize rest. Don't ever let people make you feel bad for taking rest and don't buy into social media making it look like everyone's so productive all the time because like, sorry, how do you function? I don't know. Maybe some people just are that way, but my personality is not that way at all. All right, Reagan is up from nap. I just wanted to give a little uh oh, TD 2.0. This is what I've transitioned in. This is what I slept in. Love that for me. And I don't want to get out of it. It's too comfy, but it is really hot outside. And my friend is coming over in a little bit to go on a walk. But this is the real, real pregnancy life. See the little bump right there? This is comfort. This is baby number three. But I woke up from that nap, like my body was five million pounds. Reagan's like, play with me, play with me. And I'm like, girl, I think I just woke up in a different realm because my body is so heavy and I feel like out of my body. But we played dolls. I just brewed another cup of coffee, my little six ounce cup to get me to the night. And she's watching some Barbie dream house videos. She has entered that stage and it is so cute and so fun and I love watching them with her. But she needs some good one-on-one -on -one time. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sit with her, drink my coffee, wait for Trip to wake up and then we will head outside. It is 3.18 and normally my friend comes over around like 4.30 to go on walks. That's probably what we're gonna be hanging out and doing and my house is still a disaster. Quality time with my kids matters more than cleaning the house, right baby? We want a different Barbie house. We can have all of them. You can have all of them? And the, and the car. And the Barbie cars. Yeah, about Chelsea's little house. 
That looks cool. Yeah, that's the little Chelsea house. It's a little Chelsea house. That's it? Yeah. That one? Yeah. All right, we have upgraded said outfit of the day into biker shorts. Bubby, get yes. Baba. Bubby, you want to get up and go on a walk with us? No? Crickets? Crickets? You want to go on a walk? Anybody? All right, moving slow over here, but that's okay. Bubby, you want me? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a good rest? Yeah. Yeah, we all had a good rest. Now we're gonna go outside and play and go on a walk. Um, I got those. You got a booger? We go. You got a booger? On the those are so pretty. You gonna wear those? Yeah. You wanna pick out your shoes, Trip? Wanted to show you guys my new hokas. Please ignore the toe. Anytime I put my kids down, they always step on my toe, and it's from getting that little thing. I also have my phone in cinematic right now, and it like keeps going weird. But these are so comfortable. I do love this color. Once I remove my like stains right there, but they're so cute. I'll link them down below. They're sold out on free people, but they're on the Hoka website. At least last time I checked. But big fan. Um, you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Also, I'm still loving this stroller. It's honestly been great, even just for walks. So, hey, you want your scooter? I had no idea. Let's get your scooter down. So, I still need to get like a little caddy, but so far this works pretty well. Yesterday, both kids fell asleep on our walk, so. If you're curious if your kid can fall asleep in this, they definitely, definitely can. Yeah, I know. Am I am I holding this up, folks? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Say, come on, Mom. Come on, get my scooter. Okay. All right, we are back from our walk. I just did some dishes. My face is still a little pink. Maybe I got some sun. You have your PB? We got a potty emergency, but we are good. She did not have an accident. We did make it to the potty. That was great. Walmart has really cute training underwear with like the extra padding in it. She got some frozen ones. 10 out of 10 recommend. But don't ask me for potty training tips because we're not fully transitioned to potty training or anything. We're just kind of like loosely doing it. I'm waiting till she's fully out of school to do it just so that she knows how to. I don't want her to have to worry about telling her teachers and stuff. But I'm about to make dinner. We're gonna make pancakes. Simple Mills pancakes, right? You want the box? Yeah. You want pancakes? Yeah. Yeah, with syrup? Uh, blah, blah. Yeah, and we're gonna make eggs. This is what Reagan has requested for dinner tonight. Maybe some sausage, which makes it easy for me. Reagan decided she wanted to help me make dinner. So although it wasn't necessarily easy for me to get this meal done, it was important to have her involved. And sometimes I really just feel exhausted and put out whenever she wants to help. And I really wanna say no but I've been pushing myself to say yes. She won't always want to help me in the kitchen, and before I know it, she'll be a teenager telling me not to bother her. So these moments where she wants to be involved and wants to help, I really am aiming to nurture them, even if that means that dinner takes a little bit longer to prepare and that I have to fish out a bunch of eggshells from our scrambled eggs. I also learned through this experience that trying to cook eggs and pancakes at the same time is very difficult and I am very impatient when it comes to pancakes or waffles. I always want to flip them before they are ready so they are never fully cooked through or they fall apart upon me trying to flip. I need to really wait and be patient and wait for the bubbles, but I am pretty good at making scrambled eggs. I think I win the scrambled egg award in our house, but here are my pancakes. I totally messed that one up. You could always tell which ones were the first batch because they're super light in color and then you can tell which ones were the last batch. 
patch because they get progressively darker as they go on. But this is what we had for dinner. The kids loved them. I loved them. And it was a really good night. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.